Okay, so this video is going to be a little more brief. I wanted to show off the browser. It's uh, extremely snappy, and I also just got a question about the HTC Sense keyboard, um, which also got me thinking about landscape mode. Uh, right now, you're probably seeing the Moyer effect, if I'm pronouncing it properly. It's a, a problem between digital displays and digital cameras. Um, at least I'm pretty sure it's a strictly digital problem. I can resolve that, the funky colors, by going slightly out of focus, which I'm going to do. I'm sorry, I wish I could solve both at the same time, uh, but despite this being an awesome little camera, it does what it does. So anyway, um, as you can see, there's no accelerometer support to switch to landscape mode um, in this desktop. I'm guessing, probably, uh, and, and I say this largely out of ignorance, that it's pro uh, because of the foam that this ROM originally came from doesn't have a hardware slide out keyboard therefore they don't expect users to go landscape personally um, I've been talking to Taz and one of the projects that he and or I like to take on someday in the near future is getting rid of this whole rotation limitation issue that's coming with so many ROMs like the fact that uh, Android seems to assume everyone's right handed um, which I am but there are times when I rotate the phone other ways and I like to see it work different. So anyways, let's open the browser. You see the browser does switch. I don't know why the, they would make the browser switch but not the desktop. Um, so be it. Um, we got to adjust from where you are again. And I guess we'll just have to deal with a little bit of it because I don't want to make this too blurry on you. Um, Watch how quick this is, and I am not on Wi-Fi right now, because those of you that have been following know that Wi-Fi is busted on this ROM right now. Um, and like I said earlier, I think the uh, SAT-based GPS is too. And I've been having a little bit of trouble getting the keyboard to pop up under all circumstances. So I'm using the HTC Touch Input. I'm not sure what this is about. I find it hard to believe this is a bug, but it it does what it does. Let's see if the Android keyboard does the same. Yeah, see the Android keyboard comes up uh, and obviously works in landscape mode. So apparently it's just the HTC keyboard that's being a little bit iffy. Maybe it's the landscape mode issue. Let me try this. I'll go out of focus here for a moment. Okay, so there's portrait mode. Yeah, I um, guess that might just be the issue. Issue is this, this keyboard perhaps does not work in landscape mode. I hadn't noticed that previously. Sorry, is that a focus? I'm in a really close proximity to the camera right now. Yeah, so that answers your question. Um, it's like J-Rod is cool. A one <laughs> long nick there. Looks like the HTC keyboard does not work in landscape mode. Let me get back in position and refocus. At least as much as I want to see that right there is a pixel for pixel focus. It looks gorgeous when the Moyer effect's not a problem. Beep beep. Where am I getting pinged? Ah, Taz is talking to me. Okay, well that wasn't incredibly impressive. Let's see. There we go. Click, click, click. Like I said, this is not Wi-Fi. This is just 3G video with Verizon. You can see I've got three bars right now. Oh, by the way, um, pinch to zoom is standard in this browser. We haven't, that I know of, hacked or replaced any browsers. Maybe someone did and I just haven't heard about it. But this thing just floats along. I was on Aldroid earlier playing with it and that's when I realized it. 
do, 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 do. Is that the governator we were just looking at? <laughs> yeah, I can talk bad about California. I used to live there and likely end up there again someday because I wouldn't mind working for Google. I got a pretty sweet deal right now working from home though, so I'm not messing with that. So, uh, yeah, anyway, you guys, I'm on Wave. I'm looking for questions. I'm responding in real time, and I'm trying to keep up with the thread also. Oh, I remember I had one other thing, or uh, two other things related, that I forgot to do in the last video. One is on the camera, I realized after the fact, where I was looking for the 5 megapixel setting, that there was a widescreen setting that I missed. And it got me to thinking, hoping, nope, it's hoping possibly we'd see a different resolution pop up. So much for that. The other thing I wanted to check out uh, and show you guys is the camcorder app. Because as I recall, there was something else in that that stuck out at me. But I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Brightness, um, the detailed... Oh, I thought these were disabled. Apparently not. You got your same scenes. Ah, uh, resolution. It didn't have the... Um, the DVD res, 720 by 480, for some reason it shows the WVGA res for doing video, which I think is pretty interesting, because I'm pretty sure the sensor um, is supposed to do 720 by 480 natively. Um, this I think was a little different. We have the option of MPEG-4 versus H.263 for the video codecs. Uh, you can choose audio, metering mode, average versus point, I believe was the other option, yeah, center spot. That's kind of nice for those of you that know how to use it. can really help with uh, compensating for lighting issues. Flicker adjustment, autofocus, storage. Yeah, I think it was the, um, the encoding type the codec that really stuck out at me. And if I didn't show it in the last video, flash works perfectly. Um, there's no issues with using the um, LED flash that's built on. Anyway, more to come as I figure out what's worth showing you guys.